the word for you today, Saturday. Hope you have a great weekend. What babies know. You ever see a baby and you just, they're making faces, doing things, you just wonder, what in the world are they thinking? Well, it's probably good that we don't know. Our scripture passage today comes out of Isaiah. It's talking about Hezekiah. Hezekiah, king of Judah. He was ill and he was told that he was going to die. He prayed to God and asked God to allow him to live longer. And God granted that wish and allowed him to live 15 more years. Wow. That was an effective prayer, wasn't it? King Hezekiah now in Isaiah is writing, is talking about God's goodness in granting him more life on earth. And Isaiah chapter 38 verse 19 says, The living, the living, they praise you, as I am doing today. Fathers tell their children about your faithfulness. His words can be encouragement to us to tell our children about God. Now we don't know how much longer we have to live, so let's take advantage of the time we have to tell our kids about God and about Jesus and His love for us. What are some ways that we can do that? Since many kids learn by many different ways. Well, one is structured. Some of them sit down and teach them. Some learn that way. A lot don't, but some do. Another way is nature. Some, through nature, you, you point out the grass. Uh, one little boy was, was riding in the car, and, and he noticed that it was, it was winter and, and starting to be spring, and he noticed that little places, there was little sprigs of green grass. And he said, the dead grass is now coming back to life. He says, I know somebody else who came back to life. And he began a conversation with his parents about, about Jesus. So nature sometimes is a way. Uh, the, the sky, the stars in the sky, you can't count them all. How, how many ways does God love you? You can't even count them all. Senses, our senses, our smell, our taste, our sound, touch. How can they help us to understand God? Well, some things taste good, some things don't. Some things smell good, some things don't. And God gives us good things, and there's other things that aren't good, and we're to avoid those. Some kids learn more about God through their senses. Caregiver. Some people see the hurting people, and that they, they want to go and help them in some way. That, that kid who's a caregiver, he, he sees Jesus and learns about Jesus through helping other people. The activists. Oh, and then there are those kids that hate to see anybody taken advantage of. And they see somebody being taken advantage of, man, they get mad and they want to do something. Then there's the intellectual. Some kids have a hunger to learn. Don't give them all the answers. Point them to the direction where they can find those answers. And they'll do a whole lot better because they're discovering it for themselves. Then there's the encourager. There are those kids that love to encourage other people, especially those who are down. You know, a godly parent will recognize how their child learns, and they'll develop them. They'll see how they're bent, and they'll start working and develop them in that way. What babies know, don't know, but we know that they're going to learn. Somebody's going to teach them, and it ought to be us that's teaching. We ought to be teaching our children, our grandchildren, our nieces, and our nephews. The living, the living, they praise you, O Lord. Hezekiah says, as I am doing today, fathers tell their children about your faithfulness. I want to encourage you. Maybe today you sit down and write your testimony out on a piece of paper. Set it aside so if maybe something happens to you, that can be a witness to your children, to your grandchildren, to your great-grandchildren. And you'll be able to witness to them even if you're not here. Because after all, none of us know how long we have. And when our time comes, we're not guaranteed God's going to give us another 15 years like he did Hezekiah. Have a good day.